Hi guys, Thomas Friends 47 here, and today we are taking a look at my visit to the Lionel store in North Carolina. Uh, now first off, I want to say that I was excited at first to visit the Lionel store, however, first impressions weren't that great. Now here's a picture of the layout from the store window. Uh, one thing that I was disappointed in was the layouts kind of feel a little bit bland. Like you expect Lionel to have operating accessories, all sorts of cool things. They just don't really have that. Uh, they're kind of plain, really. Um, and it, that tower over there doesn't even have the little fan inside that move. Uh, it felt like a lot of these accessories just weren't operating or you know weren't as interesting as usual. Um, here's another layout. This layout's actually in the middle of the Lionel store. Uh, there's a second picture of that right there. And then the third layout is probably the best in the showroom. Uh, and that's this one right here, and that's the plaque for it there, obviously. Uh, but it's a Christmas-themed layout on one side with the Polar Express heavily themed in that area. Uh, with the snow mountain there, I thought this was a cool layout. Uh, very interesting. This was probably my favorite part. It uses three different gauges to simulate scale. That's pretty neat. There's a video of that in action. Of course, it does have the Polar Express running in uh, S gauge, which surprised me. Here's the other side of the layout. Now this layout's a little interesting. This is supposed to be countryside that jumps right into a city. You'll notice that there. You see that subway? That subway was not running. Uh, the attendant was trying to get that to work and it wouldn't want to cooperate. It took a while to get to work there. This layout feels like it's missing something. It's hard to explain what, but it's just not right. I don't know. It, it feels odd to me. And, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. There's a train right up there. Here's another picture. They finally got the subway train running after multiple tries. There's a subway, or excuse me, a trolley line. There was no trolley on the layout. Now this disappointed me too. This was supposed to be um, the Lionel store, and the trains are supposed to run around inside the windows. They don't do that. Here's a picture from street level. Still in the city part of the layout. Now here's the video when the subway was finally running. You know, notice it about to come into frame from the left. Just a moment, right there it is. It's a beautiful train, but it took so long. Uh, one thing for sure too, these layouts had multiple issues with the trains actually not wanting to run. And that's shown in another video clip in just a second. This was a cool scene from the layout. I like this shot, so I got a picture of that. Here's another picture. This seemed weird too. So it's being like a Lionel Safari. I don't know. Here's a video of the train running from the tunnel and another view of the subway train entering the tunnel on the left side of the layout, depending on which side of the layout you're standing on. Going up from the green hills to snow, back on the other side of the Christmas layout. And you'll notice too, like I said, it, it's it's a nice layout, but it's missing something. Now here's another peculiar thing. You'll notice the Polar Express running over here on the right. Well, there's actually a really long Polar Express with all the passenger coaches that was not running. And that's another thing. Uh, like I was saying, I think layouts were having issues if some weren't working properly. Here's another Disney train, which is interesting. I like this one better than the 90th uh, anniversary edition, I think. There's a train running on the outer loop. That's the construction set, I believe. And you'll notice, too, the gate is over there in the corner, but it's not operating. From my knowledge, I, I don't remember it operating. And that's what Lionel's known for, operating accessories. And here's another video. You'll see the Thomas and Friends display reflecting at the glass there. They have a mystery machine train running. Uh, which is, it's a nice layout, but see, it, it's lacking action, which is what Lionel is known for. So it, it kind of misses on, on my, on my end, you know. Here's a view of another train running. And then this was the worst part for me. I was expecting tons of Thomas stuff, and they literally had nothing but the Thomas starter set and one iron airy. That was it. Iron, I'm sorry, iron burnt. You know, I'm expecting accessory packs and everything. Now here's the last layout. This is in the corner. And if you'll notice this train on the outer loop, watch this. Okay, it sticks on the hill. 
and it's not a one-time thing. This was doing it throughout the entire visit, and I was really surprised at this. Like, it, it takes it forever to get up the hill. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a Lionel fan, but going to the Lionel store, I felt it was going to make you want the Lionel train, and it didn't. Seeing these trains uh, not really running well, and not seeing accessories in action, it, it was kind of sad, really, to see what the Lionel store has become. Like, I remember hobby shops as a kid being exciting, and this really missed the mark for me. Here's another view of the layout, and you'll notice that already a street lamp is knocked over there, and this was only set up less than a year ago. It makes it feel like it's uncared for. This was sad too. Annie and Clarabella on this test layout. Tom's nowhere to be seen. And here's a few pictures of um, this a metal tent sign. And there's going to be a conductor's hat. I was thinking about making this into a guard's hat or a driver cap, but I just don't have the time. There's also some metal tent signs here. And some Lorino apparel, which I thought was interesting. All in all, this was a fun visit, but. It was not my favorite visit by far. Um, my chances of going back, though I probably will go back, it won't be a necessity by any means. Um, I do feel like if you're in the area, definitely stop by. It is a cool attraction, and they do have Lionel catalogs for free at their store, which I thought was nice. But I just expected so much more, and you know there wasn't many accessories both on the layout and actually in store, and I felt that product selection wasn't as good either. Um, like at my local hobby shop, I've actually found more Lionel stuff than here. Um, but overall, it was a good experience, and like I said, I probably will return eventually, but it will not be a necessity. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Concord, North Carolina Lionel store, and I will be seeing you guys really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.